For how long are you going to hold on to that problem that has threatened your peace and your happiness? For how long will you keep fighting to get out of a situation that has gone beyond your human power? How long are you going to think you can handle the pressure that is coming from the situation? You must know that not everything about your life is within your capacity to handle. And not all the situations of your life can be rectified by your power. The only thing you can do when things go wrong, when things become tough and unbearable, is to go back to God for help. It is not the volume of your tears or the number of people that you have complained to that will solve your problem. Neither is it the number of times you have screamed and got broken that will fix your problem. The truth is that it does not matter how far you have gone in search of a solution from the world or from people that eventually cannot give you the solution or help you out of the problem. The only thing that matters here is how far have you gone in trusting God. What matters here is have you met with God and discussed your problems with the Lord? How well have you prayed? How good are you in relating your problems to God? Know this for a certainty that there is no other person in the world that can help you Neither is there any deity who God in this world that can do for you what God alone can do. The solution you will get from the God of the world, the devil and every other false priest of the world are all inferior. They are not the real solution to your problem as they will only give you a gift and a solution that will lead you into another problem. They will give you a means that will eventually lead into the destruction of your life. All these things are what the devil will do to you simply because the devil and other deities do not have the power that God has. All power in heaven and on earth belongs to the almighty God. That is the reason you have the best counsel that you do not have to toil to do it. Just let go of all your human means because God is going to fix it for you. There was a time a group of nations teamed up to wage war against the children of Israel and the pressure developed into fear in the camp of the children of Israel. So much that even the leader of the Israelite, Jehoshaphat, was terrified and did not know what to do or how to handle the situation on the ground. Humanly speaking, the battle was not one they could have handled on their own, but the wisdom of Jehoshaphat was amazing. At the peak of the threat and pressures, he went to the God of heaven and cried unto God for help. You must note that Jehoshaphat took this step because he believed God has what it will take to fix the problem and knew that God can deliver them from that situation. It does not matter what you are facing as a challenge in your life. You do not have to see that mountain as greater than God in your life. There is no mountain that God cannot take away from before you. There is no fire that God cannot put off in your life. There is no sickness or disease that God cannot heal and deliver you from. And there is no demonic affliction and demonic possession that God in his power cannot take away and make your life whole and free. God is going to fix that problem. He can do whatever you have related to him as your problem. Even before you presented it to him, God knows your problems and your challenges. God knows what you can do and the things you cannot do because he knows your human capacity. This is the very reason 
God is telling you to let go and let him in. It is the reason God is telling you to let him do it for you. How will you do this? Put the whole of your trust in him. Yes, it is very painful to go through such problems as you have found yourself in. Your finance has probably been drained because of this particular situation. You might have invested much hope in something, but it seems your hope is beginning to wane with each passing day. Listen, God cannot fail you if you put all your trust in him. God cannot deny you if you make him your only way and hope. There can never be any other way that will lead you to victory over that problem if you do not let go of that problem and present it to God. Hand it over to him so that he can help you. The psalmist asked, where will my help come from? It is not going to come from the government of the world. It is not going to come from the doctor or from best counsellor or the most referred consultant of that particular problem. It is going to come from the Lord who has made heaven and the earth. You have to acknowledge that your helper is God. You have to believe that he can do all things for you. You have to make it the reality of your faith and your conviction that there is nothing in this life that will be difficult for God to provide for you. God is always the mastermind of your life and your success, including your blessing and everything that concerns you. To do this, you need your faith to be alive because you cannot hand over your problem to a God you do not have faith in to deliver you from that problem. If you do not have faith in the Lord that he will fix your problem, then it may be hard for you to let go of your problem because you have not believed that God can fix it for you. Hebrews 11 verse 6 But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Where is your faith now? Ask yourself, do you have faith in the Lord already, that he can fix your health situations for you? Do you have faith that God can revive your financial life and make you a financial giant again? Do you believe that God delivers you from the traps that the devil has laid on your path? This, your faith in God, is the foundation upon which you can build on and get your freedom and the solutions to your problem. God wants to help you, but God may not do that if you do not come to him. The scripture says in Matthew 11, verse 28 through 29, 28, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. 29, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. God has the system of inviting you to always come to him. God is always calling you to come. You cannot receive that help from afar. You cannot be helped when you have not come into the knowledge of the Lord that he will help you. Arise and go to the Lord with your problems and heavy burdens. Run to God because his arms are always wide open to receive you. Let go and do not hold back. Stop thinking you can do it by yourself or with your power. Likewise, never conclude that there might be no solution to your problem. 
open up to God through prayers and He will help you and deliver you from your troubles. Let your weaknesses and your powerlessness attract the help of the Lord in your problem. When you show you are powerless before the Lord, then He will know that you have humbled yourself before Him and He is the only help you have. Lots of times people go to God feeling powerful and seeing themselves as a God even before the Most High God. The truth is that not handing that problem over to God is a show of pride. It is simply telling God that you are capable of helping yourself without Him. But remember that God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. This is enough reason for you to humble yourself before God so that He will help you to fix your marital and family problem that has posed as a challenge to you. God is always ready to help you. He is always there to deliver you from the pain. God is always there to give you that maximum security that you have been praying for. That protection and provision are all sure in God because with human beings it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Your victory is in God already. All you have got to do is receive every solution and deliverance from the Lord and you are going to smile and shout for joy again.